Yeah. Hi, uh, my name is Ajay Nair. I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Horticulture at Iowa State University. Today I want to uh, talk to you uh, about uh, a conservation tillage practice called strip tillage. As the name suggests, in strip tillage what you do is uh, you have a cover crop uh, in, your, in your plot and instead of completely tilling the cover crop in, uh, what you do is you just make uh, till strips in which you plant your crops. The advantages of strip tillage is that you are not tilling the whole soil ground up, so uh, you are not breaking the structure, uh, less leaching happening because uh, you conserve uh, more moisture uh, and more nutrients with the cover crops in there. So the two main integral parts or the components of strip tillage is the cover crop, which you would uh, see it either in the fall or could be a spring cover crop too. Usually it's a fall cover crop and dry or hairy wedge are, uh, are good uh, 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 candidates uh, for strip tillage. So in this plot here, we are at the Muscatine Island Research Station. Uh, what you see here are uh, two uh, very distinctive treatments. We are growing pumpkins and the treatment which we are trying here are different rates of rye. So we have seeded rye last fall at 60 pounds per acre, 120 pounds per acre and 180 pounds per acre. That's a higher rate and comparing that with the bare ground treatment. So behind me you see a pumpkin plot uh, which is the bare ground treatment which is uh, which was completely tilled and you could see uh, the pumpkins are doing great today is the 26th of june 2013 uh, but one interesting thing which you see here is these this carpet of uh, weeds here the purslane growing between the uh, rows of pumpkins and you know growers have uh, a tough challenge uh, when they, it comes to weeds. It, it's difficult, you do not have much herbicides for vegetable systems and if you're organic you need to hoe. And if you walk with me, behind there, behind this control treatment uh, with pumpkin is a, a strip drill treatment with rye cover crop and as you could very clearly see if we walk into the plot here, we have a very thick mat of rye which is suppressing the weed growth here, which is conserving soil moisture. And you know, uh, it's kind of uh, uh, adding more biology to the soil because you know, the rye roots, microbes uh, eat on there, there's more organic matter. So there is more turnover and recycling of nutrients. And just to show you how thick this rye mat is, if you look at the, it's pretty moist in here. So there's a lot of uh, moisture conservation going on here. Uh, and less erosion happening too. So this thick mat of rye suppresses the weeds a lot and you cannot see even a single weed in here. So definitely some interesting results with strip tillage in pumpkin and pumpkin is a, is a common crop in which strip tillage is practiced. We are tweaking the system uh, to understand it better. We are using roller crimpers to crimp this roll and crimp this rye. Uh, so if an organic grower wants to ad adopt this or a sustainable grower wants to adopt the system, they can easily do that. Uh, this is, uh, uh, I mean, the growth of the pumpkin looked pretty good. Uh, we will come back later, collect data on the wheat distribution between the rows to get see how much weeds are suppressed. We'll also take data on the uh, yield of the pumpkins, also the fruit quality, because pumpkins in the bare ground treatment will sit on the ground, whereas in this case, they will be sitting on the mat of the thick rye. So definitely a better quality pumpkin. So maybe a better Halloween too for the kid who picks that pumpkin up. So we are excited about this project and uh, we'll keep you updated and I hope you were able to see how strip tillage looks like uh, in a vegetable pumpkin production system. Uh, my name is Ajay Nair. I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Horticulture and thank you for watching this video.